I've been trimming my dress for over a year now, which has helped me maintain the perfect set of locks. And fortunately for you guys, achieving the perfect set of locks follows only a few steps, and this video will walk you through all of them. But before we just start chopping off locks, we need to identify the reason for doing so. There are multiple different reasons that may cause you to consider a dread trim, ranging from just wanting a style change to excessive length causing everyday activities to be a hassle. Use me, for example. I have thin, hot top locks. So the longer they got, not only was it obstructing my vision, but it made my locks look wild, stringy, and not fit my head the way I wanted them to. Now with your reasoning in Mind, it's time to find your reference. A reference is basically any inspiration you find that you may want to model your dreads after and act as a guide to achieve your perfect look as a result of trimming. My reference in this video happens to be my own dreads from months prior. I deem this my perfect look because it fits my head perfectly, adds shape and volume, and since I've had the style personally, I know what I like and what I didn't like, making it easier for me to make adjustments. With that all figured out, it's time to start cutting. The actual trimming process is pretty simple. You have full control of the length and the style of your hair. All you have to do is snip. But in order to get the perfect look, I suggest you start by doing a visual examination. Use mirrors to look at all angles of your head and decide what length should stay and what should be cut. Once you feel confident with your decision, grab a pair of scissors and lock of your choice to decide how much you want to trim and cut just below that. This gives you a bit of safety room to where you can either decide to leave it as is or cut even more. Because it's a lot easier to have extra hair to keep trimming rather than cutting off too much in the beginning and not be able to go back. After that first cut, you should be a lot more confident moving into your next cut. So continue to slowly but surely make your way all the way around your head. Lastly, this part is optional, but if you want to rebut the ends of your lock so it's not a straight cut across, grab a crochet needle and go in and out of the end of your lock until it's rounded back out. Finally, your look has been achieved. Your reasons have vanished and you should feel a lot more satisfied and confident with your new lock makeover. Some would even call it perfect.